plus front up oh. yeah, so there we go. So yeah. Uh hurry. Put yourselves in a sort of locations. Uh we'll say the front part is I just use it. The front part is where like the actual um driver's seat is. This is a full covered wagon. So like it's basically a mobile So keep that in mind. Let's see, Merrick. Ah, fuck. Black, black. Ooh, you know what you could do to make this easier for yourself? Just copy-paste from the last map. Oh, it's shit. Right now, but... No, no, and I could do that for a lot of the NPCs. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, I don't want to grab the log, so I'm just going to go back and forth. There is Owen Denway Shax. Oh, no. Uh, can you move uh, uh, me to the front or him to the back? Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Just grab it. Last of coverage. Yeah, it's last seven, six. Boop. And I come back to this page and then just. Boop. No, Jesus. Hey, perfect. Uh, I will say we'll put Shaxx in front. Yeah. You guys have your special watch horses, so they're the ones riding. Tyler's in the back. She ain't, she ain't trusting any of y'all. Uh, Owen's probably riding on top of the... Let's put it <gasps> Wait a second. Where'd Owen go? Crash, does that mean we have passed by the gates There's... to <laughs> the Keplins? Yes, so you did see the posters. Uh, no, no, no. There's specifically someone in the mountains right next to the gates that we needed to see. And I already have something ready for you. Oh, so no, I don't have it ready. Okay. Uno momento. Someone in the mountains next to the gates? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. he's talking I'll about pick, getting taller. Mm hmm. I want Maybe. to say that hasn't happened yet because keep adding stuff to this. <laughs> All right. No fun for you. There. Finally. Fucking. Switch these actually. Okay, so you guys are traveling. Head over to Galibert. You guys eventually get there and see the place in full proper capacity. Oh, sorry. I'm going to zoom out and begin doing some rough sketching. Where's my own book here? No, that's not it. The fuck the map. Oh, it's on the other side of this. <laughs> yes. So Galibur itself, don't assume this is true to form, by the way. Galibur itself sits on this little peninsula. Right. And it's up. Uh, I'll use a extra large. Uh, this is already blue, so I'll go neon. It is surrounded, obviously, by a river. That's Peninsula's are there, surrounded by there. In front, oh, change color, please. Thank you. Uh, in front of the town itself sits. I'll uh, use this. I don't know what color this this is. But I'll use it. It's sort of like pink. In front of the town itself sits. I just use the shape option for us. In front of the town itself sits the old, uh, old estate of the lord that resided over this place. This really sort of makes a face if we add some more details. And of course, in front of the town itself, in front of the estate, is ye olden hanging tree. It is a huge tree, by the way. Like, that centipede tree, it's like that. Something. Except, yeah. It's like that. Ward is going to mention to uh, uh, Marshall as the, if they see the tree. You guys are entering from this like, one. Uh, <laughs> you said your name was Marshall. Ah, uh, yes. Marshall Militarito. Militarito Marshall. Whatever you prefer. 
Okay, whatever you prefer. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Fred has done it. He's found a way to beat the Marshall Naming Convention. By picking the last part. I think your tree is way bigger than the one we fought. Just saying. Ah, yes. I've never killed a tree, but I have many axes. How do you guys compare on wood over here? Oh my god, so bad. <laughs> I've heard of dick measuring contests, but this is a bit extra. I know, right? I'm just doing this little... I don't know, like, I guess it's a shield shape. This is like where the town itself is. But what does a dick have to do with a tree? That makes no sense. I don't, don't get worry it either. Either. I mean, it's pretty similar. It's got a shaft and everything, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. so does an axe. So does an arrow. You know what? You guys yeah. just keep enjoying your talk. Don't worry about it. I mean, mirror I'm remarks. Really enjoying it. <laughs> mirror remarks from a front. What a phallic based society. <laughs> Additionally, adding to the map, there is also a moat for... I've been curious, what do you make of this weapon? You uh, seem like a man who knows many weapons. There is a I hand marshal the glaive. Seven, eight, nine, Ooh, what, 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 what blade are we talking 16, about? It's a glaive. This is the ward's uh, two-handed obsidian glaive. Oh, he takes it. Ooh, nice. Oh, obsidian. Oh, that's such an unmaterial. Never broke on you. Never, not once that I know of. Hmm. But it, in my experience, it is always better to have a backup when you're dealing with obsidian. You know, that's a fair point. He does like some flips with it, a couple stabs, a couple flip strokes. Oh, the balance is impeccable on this, and it is much lighter than it appears. I get the sense that my way of fighting is not too different from that old Rick fellas, except minus the fairy. Hmm. I'm not a fan of those. Me neither. We should stick to the Feywilds, in my opinion. <laughs> Vanguard party, you guys get flashbacks. <laughs> to, to like 12 hours ago. Yeah. Anything else? That is not the worst idea. Oh, they, oh they do throw a great dinner. Huh? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> they were just going. fair dinner before. That does sound interesting. What kind of food they serve? You said there was a horse? Oh yes, a whole host. As a matter of fact, anything you want, just as long as you ask for it. Abigail no, like raises her eyebrows like, like see, see, see. And that uh, <laughs> Vanguard. No, no, I mean So why did she ask for a horse then? Chemist just brought into her fucking temples. Because he wanted to know if he could eat one, obviously. I wasn't paying attention at the time. No, you were busy staring with big doe eyes at you know who. Switch. Oh, it's quite endearing, gentlemen. You may as well embrace it. I. Yeah, I. Uh. <laughs> She's kind of bright. <laughs> busy fucking murder tree. Talk about the murder tree again. I'm not this is quite funny, so. By all means, continue. That reminds me, you, Tiefling, what was your name? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Name's Wise. Wise. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really, really? You get used to it. Despite, um, despite appearances, uh, yeah. Word to the Wise, then. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Spend ball. much time in the uh, Heartlands, Silkwall? Capital? No, never been. Oh, uh, uh, capital. So you're a capital, eh? Uh? Mm-hmm. A couple idea. What about um, you? Fashionista here. Mage, I assume? Sure. You said you were from, uh, you were from around here. Don't look it. 
No. I left when I was a young age. Can you blame me? <laughs> no, not as nice. Not at all. I mean, this place is absolutely delightful. I don't know why you would ever leave. Yeah. It's why do nice. you always have to be so contrarian? It's very earthy. <laughs> I earthy. mean, just look at. Yeah, it's just you can connect to your roots here, you know? Whether you want to or not. Oh, There's definitely. There's a lot of roots around here. Definitely, like physically and metaphorically. <laughs> or connect to branches, considering it's a fucking hanging tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got so what is the root of the branching problem you're all facing, <laughs> then? <laughs> oof, oof. I like this one. I'm just gonna keep drawing and ignore you guys' bad <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing an elevation map, roughly. This feels wow. like a good time for tarot reads while we sit around, getting to know each other. Oh, 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 I love those. Me first, me first, me first. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. He just shows me all, right. all the way. Fuck. <laughs> all right, Aminius pulls out the the deck and slaps it. Down. Uh, this is not to scale down here, by the way. So don't. Ask. <laughs> okay. What does that one mean? Ask me. Ask me a question, and I'll I'll pull the cards for you. I asked you to read my fortune. <laughs> <laughs> to read the fortune, she needs a question leading into That's... the fortune. Mm -hmm. She. Mm -hmm. He, he? So, okay, that was Garth. Sorry about that. I'm saying in game, <laughs> hair toss. I am a man. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> See, he didn't know either. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just realized you guys have like a like a thirty year cultural difference in terms of like fashion. I don't design. know, like like god, fashion design, like style of fashion, yeah, or or like. Like sensibilities or whatever. That's a good. That's a good point. Anyways, what do you think? Olic is keeping uh, keep calling Aminius a fashionista. Mm. I mean, to be fair, I think Aminius is like still a fashionista by modern yeah. standards. So <laughs> I mean, sure. Ironic it's considering how so she's still. Ironic considering how Abigail is there as the actual fashionista, <laughs> but she's dressed like how Chetty would dress yeah. if she could. Well, I'm Abigail's armor. muse. <laughs> Abigail's the artist, I'm just the model. The inspiration. Not really, but okay. But anyways. <laughs> Crash mumbles. Not in the slightest, but alright, go off. She has another inspiration, I mean, and he's sort of standing I mean, right next dream, to her. Right? Yeah, but let a man She's dream, really inspired you know? late at night, after missions. Mm. Oh my god. I think you need to ask him a question, Marshall. Yes. Okay, but it's not like one of those... Like shooting stars, where if you make the wish and you tell people about it, it changes, right? Well, I don't know about it in the Feywilds, but in regular land, uh, no. It tells you what could happen, and then you can change it. Ah, huh. okay. Where, uh, hold on, I need to think about how to wear this. But do I have a set of the Mother Woods? Nope. It's not actually Ask literally me. dealing with fairies. I'm uh. actually a little afraid now. He's gonna present you like a five page essay or something. Okay. Will I help lead the next generation of warriors to be better than they were before? Well, you have some mighty oh, strong see. goals and aspirations. I could answer that for you, Marshall. The answer is obviously yes. Tyler nods at that. You could probably He's take like, on half really, an army by yourself, so yeah, probably. Really, like, cross-legged, hunched up, and leaning real close to Aminius, like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, well, it's, it's like shooting, like, craps out, like, this three or something. <laughs> Measuring well, distance so. between them is about three inches. We've got uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six. By the way, you're saying and... Pentacles, right? Yeah, Pentacles. Okay, cool. It means coins. So this oh, okay. shows that you will, you have a Perfect. nurturing nature that will allow I just misheard people it. I was to like make new beginnings that will lead to a long-standing legacy for you, and you'll be remembered fond. Ah, I see. Excuse me a moment. He turns around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he turns back around. As soon as oh. this, there's very little doubt that this would happen. 
He gets up and just stretches and turns it into a flex. Uh, yes. And now we just have to kill a tree. Wait, can you keep doing this or is this like a one time thing? You keep asking me questions. Oh, just well, I don't want time. to be good eating. By the way, our game, I posted the picture if you guys want to see. Oh, nice. Lovely. That's a lot Ooh. of yellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's bright. It's like a bright, happy color that means you know, it's it's these are all beneficial cards. I and and they actually mean what I said they mean. Oh wow. What the shit <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? You actually predict the future. You know I am going to draw the map yeah. by the way, so nice. Yeah, I have cards as well, but I typically use them to kill people with. <laughs> Wait, what? What was that? Yes, I, I, I use my cards to kill people. You have, oh. you have cards? What type of cards? I guess I do that too sometimes. Imagine like a deck of like metal plates. Like, you just no flick them into someone's forehead or? Yeah, he just he just waits for uh, like a tree to get close. Look! That doesn't take off! Oh shit. What the f <laughs> It's a stationary target, so a 10, 11 so it succeeds because AC's 10. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to fight. You could turn playing cards yeah. into a weapon. Who the hell is Christ? Shut up! I forgot. I realized afterwards. <laughs> Look, I, to be fair, I have done the Irish Jackson in a while, and for some reason, throwing Christ in every That's other sentence pops why you should just stay in it instead of busting out of it. Just keep doing yeah, it. he he sort of just fans them out and then closes them. Anything is a weapon if you try. Abigail pulls a card from the tree and gives it back. Can you Talking turn? About having a killer hand. <laughs> Sandra just held up her hand for high five. No, I'm not high five, man. That was bad. That was yeah. fantastic. I high five. I'm sorry. I, I was sort it. of daydreaming during that part there. What happened? He threw a card and it landed in a tree. <laughs> and it was very terrible. Oh. Embedded, in a, tree. Embedded <laughs> in a tree. Not landed on Oh, actually, season. that's pretty impressive. Mm. Is this in the, the hanging tree? No, it's just a random tree that we passed by. You know, I was once in a place where I got in a fight and I killed a man with a straw. I think they banned them after that. Hey, <laughs> well, they banned straws. Why would they do that? Wouldn't I don't know, maybe it'd be eco friendly. Be more or the appropriate reaction to that, really. What's eco friendly mean? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mirror pipes up. I don't know about you guys, but. I think nature's trying to kill us anyway, so we might as well try back. <laughs> that is a fair point. We're about to go to a hanging tree. So, just saying. We could make a lot of hanging straws out of that. Not the best mm. one so far. <laughs> Anyways, your guys' card predictions and ecological conundrums aside, you guys eventually do get there. You guys see the tree first. The tree had its own entire clearing, similar to the centipede tree. Uh, except the centipede tree was... Don't get me wrong, it had large branches and stuff like that. Sub-branches. Literal sub-branches. The hanging tree is more akin to, like, um... Oh, God, what's... Not Dead Man's Beard, although I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. I really I accept the point. Not Ivy. Uh, you know, like the uh, the talking grandma tree in Pocahontas. I don't know what the things that, that hang tree? off it, but it has like, yeah like, tree, a, yeah. yeah, like a willow tree, weeping willow, weeping willow tree. It's like that. Uh, so most of its canopy isn't co um, comprised of branches and sub branches and stuff like that, like the centipede tree. No, this one is mostly comprised of like these smaller vines and, and stuff like that. Um, it does have access that again this drawing is not to not to scale uh music is not playing by the way why is that well never even asked yeah it just what the fuck is sonya i'll whip the shatty <laughs> you dare see oh my god bit. have y'all seen the new season of rick and morty no. there's a new season no. oh my god yeah season three they dropped the first half of the episodes but Good Lord, season three, episode five. 
Is that oh. why all the he turns up into a pickle meme shit is going around? No. Okay. No. I kid you not, Shut up, I, hate I kid you movie. not, Cortana. I, he turns himself into a pickle, Cortana. He calls himself Pickle Rick. Don't know why, but I hate that meme so it, much. It's it's where Morty gets a dragon. And, and it is so messed up. I heard and, what it is. I know the yes. The when you reminded me. When you remind when you said whip it, I just thought of the wizard because he mm. he whips the dragons. He's like slut dragon, slut. Classic Rick and Morty. It's even weird to consider Rick and Morty now. No, oh, it's so messed up. But Watch it; it's great. But it's I'm good. Up. Moving on, we we have a shorter amount of time today, so you guys get to Galber. Again, the hanging tree does have access to the entire front part of this. Uh, this. So, again, this is not drawn to scale, it's just to give you like, uh, an idea of where the central trunk is. Mishka does say that there's a way to get around the tree. Well, there are multiple ways to get around the tree. One of which is to not just let it feed and not disturb it. I don't think sacrificing someone is in the cards for our, you guys. Uh, we already had some talks about that last session. You can sneak by. It. Although... They had to be pretty good at sneaking to sneak by. You had to go around the outer edge of its viney grasp, although it can't just grab anything from the river's edge to where it is. The vines will actually grow out to reach that far. But nonetheless, uh, it's better to go there than Fight directly the under the tree itself. Fight the tree. Fight the tree. <laughs> I mean, I've no, upgraded. No. <laughs> hey, listen, I've upgraded the tree since the last time. I've upgraded like oh, everything. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It had 600 health in the last campaign. Oh my god. I have now put it to four digits. <laughs> so if you want to fight the tree, it will fight be a long fight. fight that. And I'm now tan or altered with it, so you can't just try sniping from bow range. It can reach now. I'm scared. I'm scared of the tree. So let's not or... try to fuck with the tree? <laughs> I mean, it's... Again, it's not a hanging tree. It's the hanging tree. There's no other hanging trees in the world. This thing's a cursed tree. It eats people. Sucks like a mosquito. And then Ward will them. offer pass without trace. Uh, how many people can pass without trace? I think it's just anyone within the area. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's like a range, isn't it? Let's find out. Hit the button. Hit the beep boop beep 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 button. Beep 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 I should say though, like bringing the wagon in with, gonna be a different thing. Yeah, each, uh, each creature within thirty feet of you. So let's look at them. If we all hug the wagon and he sits on top. But the thing is, it won't help the wagon. The wagon's not a creature. Good point. Good point. And I'm not sure. I don't think the tree's so blind, even though it doesn't have eyes. I don't think it's so dumb and blind that it won't notice a giant piece of wood and metal <laughs> coming by. Uh, just park the wagon. Lol. Good point. It's up to you guys. I mean, it'd probably be safer. I mean, who's going to... Well, to be fair, they... These idiots showed up in the middle of the night, didn't they? So, I rest... Never mind. <laughs> I say we hide the wagon. <sighs> Sounds like you guys are stashing the wagon. I need someone to roll me survival with a camera. Jennifer. If you so wish. Dupe. Mira is just staring at the tree itself in yeah. contemplation. Not my best roll. Hey, you seem good. I'm imagining Jennifer just sort of flexing and aggro hiding the wagon. <laughs> aggro hiding? It's more you trying tuck to it find under spots already that top. Yeah. You, you tuck it under already with some already toppled logs, give it uh, diagonal sort of um, lofty cover of dead man's beard and other fallen branches and stuff like that to just give it more of an appearance of just a large fallen tree. Yeah, and try to find a spot that has, like, not super mushy ground so it doesn't sink in while we're gone. Well, that's not a concern. Look at the high elevation map. Oh, right. It's above the yeah. water. Ba -ba -ba -ba. What am I thinking of? Level. It's relevant. So, I need everyone to make me stealth roll. In total, there should be like 18 of these solemn bitches. 
Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You were very close. Oh, wait, 18. No, I forgot that one. So, yeah. Good mm -hmm. job. <laughs> I have my counting correct. Uh, Cheddar, does she have that spell? I also that have Pass Without a Choice. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't stack. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Same spell. But... Yeah, M Marshall just kind of walks through like, No, oh, I don't want to make too much noise. Draw the tree's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Nevi. Uh, don't have. All my luck is going to like a single character today, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's like. Okay. Oof. Oof, that's a. Uh, Plus, uh, guide for herself. Also, she has a disadvantage? Herself. Or does she have a armor that fixes Mithril point She has Mithril. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, right, we got it from Ratman. He has a fucking name. I know he has a name, but I have no idea what it is. How the fuck? How do you respect that? How? How? Because he's Regress. Regress. Yes, yes. Drink it. And Mishka does pretty well. She's a small child. That coin, I believe, just has a straight plus five. Dex plus. I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain that wolves have. Hey, anybody? No, no, no. A going count of all the numbers. No, I'm just gonna do rough head math. I don't want to calculate all this. I mean, with plus 10s, like, with the above 20s, well overcoming the less than 10s, like, it, it should be, like, still middle. And then, uh, you know what? I'll let you do your rough head math. This is a lot of numbers. <laughs> then it'd be plus that. Box. I'm basically just checking to see if anyone has a 1. And then it'd be... By this. And then I know Owen doesn't have stuff, and I know he has a flat 10 in Dex, because he's, uh, oh. What a shame. What a shame. I think our average and then, is around like 20 still. Because we got a couple of bomb ass rolls. Tall look. Tall is short, so it makes sense. She is I'm not racist. Size. See, saying she's oh, size is probably see. racist. Yes. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> I want to say the average would be at 16. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's supposed to be higher. That's uh, 6 plus 2. So it's 8. Yeah, probably around a 16. Yeah. 16 without the plus 10. So which means with a plus... I just took away the plus 10 for all of you, because then if you all get it anyway, it doesn't really affect the math too much. Um, if I add 10 to the average, I would be 26. So, we're good. fine. <clears throat> you guys sneak past the hanging tree down the hill towards the uh, Lord's old estate. Which the Lord, who knows? Misha. Actually, no, Misha would know. <laughs> She's too young. Um, she baby. To give you an idea of, like, the mental imagery of the estate itself, it's not... It's more of, like, a fort front or fort facade or anything, something like that. It is still an estate, but the, the buildings that comprise the actual, like, living quarters and stuff were obviously built of different material and different style, and as such were just less sturdy uh, versus the test of time. So the things, the only things that are left are the more stony, uh, standing structures meant to you know withstand sieges and stuff like that so uh, to give you some mental imagery look to wayfair so the entire place is overgrown i don't think it's as perfectly like the wall is still as intact as the picture shows there um i would say uh no not like that it's it is much more like a walled fortification uh architectural style uh but yeah, again, like the walls themselves aren't as fully intact as the picture I dropped depicts. I would say there's plenty of gapage. There's probably walls that just outright don't exist, save for like some tall standing pillar foundation uh, posts surrounded by rubble. Stuff like that. Most of it's in ruin. It's been far too long. And so but regards, like that's what the... If you guys were to approximate in your mind's architectural eye, that's... The thing, I, the pinkish thing there 
is what I would say it looked like originally, but it's nowhere. Like so you guys go past the old abandoned Lord's fortifications out in front of Galber and sneak, having snuck past the hanging tree down the slopage. The moat itself is there, but there's so much stuff like chucked onto it, grown over it, etc., etc. Parts of the wall itself crumbled into it. Yeah, it's no more than just slightly difficult terrain to cross over and then through the wall itself, the empty bastion it is, and then into Galibur proper. Galibur itself is an entirely, save for maybe one or two buildings which are grown or not grown, built out of the ruins of older structures. Like, so we have a cornerstone which is actually made of stone, but the rest of it is comprised of wood. The rest of the village, however, is wood. This is a wood constructed place. No one is out and about.